What's up, guys? We're back. It's Friday. We're leaving to a race this weekend. I'm going to get there tonight. Uh, the race actually practice starts today. And then tomorrow is the race. So we're going to run a little late, but I have to finish up my work day, which is the topic of what we're going to talk about today. I get the question all the time, and I addressed it in a live feed before, but I'll just make a video of it so you guys can search for it. Uh, but I get the question all the time on what I do for a living. How do I afford all these RC cars? And then I also get a lot of haters talking about why I buy two of everything. And that's what we're going to address today. So, again, this is kind of a change of pace when it comes to the vlog. Uh, I've been doing a crap ton of car reviews and parts reviews and things like that. This one's more laid back. And just hearing, hearing me talk, which I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> so, let's get to it. So if you're wondering how many RC cars I have, I don't know. It changes and fluctuates so much because I purchase a lot. And I, I just enjoy purchasing cars. Um, but here is the like the background that you see in most of my live feeds. These are all the cars back here. Most of these boxes are full. There's only a few that are empty. Uh, more of them full than empty. Got my Arma stuff over here. As well as my Axial stuff. There is the Bigfoot. Uh, but that's just the media room I shoot a lot of video here also this is where i have my pool table there's four slashes those are actually in the box that one is not in the box on top um these are the cars that i got recently that we're reviewing so that's that new solar flare the solar flare 4x4 which is really really cool um that that bag has two of my vortex in it uh, moving on I have these two. These came from the storage unit. I'm actually going to be selling these. Um, got no reason for these. And I have more out of the storage unit that I'm going to pull out. Uh, look, a random grasshopper. That's the grasshopper too that I'm supposed to be in the middle of building. Actually, I am in the middle of building, but it's got a long way to go. My newly acquired Tamiya room. Uh, sand scorchers in there. Uh, these are all, basically, they're all boxes of cars. Uh, there, there. And then look, that one's three wide over there. This room is kind of dark, so sorry about all the glitching. Uh, stacked up boxes there. These are just boxes whenever I ship cars out. And then the Axial SCX6, that's just a box. But yeah, to me, a room, hopefully this will be growing really soon. I have a whole bunch of cars on back order. So when cars start coming in, and if there's a week where I just keep showing you all the cars that I got, it's not because I bought them all that week. It's because the backfill finally came through. So yes, to me, a cars, there's a lot more coming. I do plan on eventually doing like a... A, a collection tour like my, my RC collection tour not in this video this is just to address which I haven't done yet, how I afford all these RC cars my office I got my favorite crawlers up here actually all my crawlers my favorite crawlers some minis here um, got some minis up there too they're the RC 18s that I shot look that's a that's a die cast scale version of my actual car there's that to me to me a van and then we got the hot rod in the garage, here is that new Amazon car I just did a review on. My slash is here. We're going to have more slashes soon because uh, I, I don't usually shoot this area because it's really messy. Uh, but we're going to do have some rental slashes when we start doing some spec slash racing. The Vendetta, awesome car. Here are the cars that are too big to sit on a shelf. However, I'm stacking them because I'm running out of room over here. Also stacking cars over there. Lots of RC cars in here. All my Revos. I, it, believe it or not, I... Ow. I can't seem to be able to get rid of any of these. Uh, I like them too much. Uh, someone mentioned this body back here, this nitro body. This is actually an old uh, NB48.4 body. I got the body painted. I never ran the car, so I still have the body. Um, my drag slash down here. And then my race cars over here, some of them. Actually, my the car that I'm racing this weekend is right there. Um, and then I just got done binding and putting the receiver in my truggy from my new 7pxr that's the budget truck that's a great truck by the way and then my rustler look, look the wheels oh by the way i'm picking up more wheels today which today's friday you guys are gonna see a sunday so they'll probably be on the website already by the time y'all see this video but if they are i'm not shipping them until i get back from the race so just hang tight guys hang tight I totally overlooked that guy. That's the EB410.2. Uh, I have, I don't even have electronics. Actually, I do have the electronics. The electronics are right there. I just haven't put them in yet. But yeah, that car, I, I don't have a, a 10 scale track near me. I want to run at Gold Star, which is a carpet track. I just haven't ran out there yet. Um, and then I also overlooked that guy. That's the car that I got from the swap meet. It's really cool. I haven't done anything with it yet, which, dang. So in regards to why I have two of everything, I really think it is like this weird complex. I don't think it's normal. I think it's a, a quirk that I have. 
that I truly feel like I can't enjoy something unless I have a backup. So, uh, yeah, it's weird. I've always been like that growing up. I've always had two of everything. Like I can't really enjoy anything until I have two of something. I mean, even all the way down to my cars, like I've always had two actual real cars in my, in my life, my whole life. Even when I was 16, I always had two cars. Obviously they weren't really, really high end cars, which my cars aren't high end anyways. Um, but I always had two. I, I felt like if like in my head, what goes through my head is like, I, I enjoy these things so much. I want to make sure that I have a backup for it. I know it's weird, but that's why I buy one of every color. At least I'm not getting the same color. In some case I get the same color, but for the most part I get the other color. Um, so that's why I buy two of everything guys. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people that's like, why do you do that? That's dumb. All you gotta do is get the body. I'm not buying it for the body. I'm buying it because I have to have a second one for some weird reason. And uh, I don't think the question is, why do I do it? I think the question should be, why not? If I can, why Why not? <laughs> why not? They, they make me happy. Why not, right? So, so in regards to how I afford it, I get the question all the time. What do I do for a living? So there's not, there's really no secret. Um, there's nothing crazy. I don't, I don't have a trust fund. I don't get money from anybody. I don't get the, I don't get all my cars for free. Uh, my race stuff, I do get, you know, I am sponsored, so I do get a pretty good deal on my race stuff, but that's really not what most of my stuff is. Most of my stuff is bashing stuff. Um, it really is just a product of hard work. Um, and other, another thing is people act like I just bought all these. I, I didn't. Um, this is a collection that's been going for almost 15 years now, and I don't sell. I used to sell cars, and then I would have seller's remorse. And next thing you know, I would regret, I basically, I regret selling stuff, so I stopped selling things. So that's why a lot of my cars a little bit older now with that said because i because i buy traxxas stuff and arma stuff and the rtr stuff they don't really update those as often so buying those and keeping them on the shelf isn't that bad like the revo the revo is the same revo that they had 10 years ago so i i like there's nothing wrong with <laughs> there's nothing wrong with keeping those on my shelf i can sell those re used revos that i got 10 years ago for the same price of a used Revo that I bought last week. So yeah, it's just, it's there, again, no secret. Uh, it's just hard work. What do I do for a living? I am, I work in IT, I work in technology, software, software development, software architecture, uh, software engineering. So I was a, a basically a programmer for most of my career. I became a software architect for another part of my career. And now I am just a people manager. So I manage uh, people, projects, products, uh, things like that. So. It was just me climbing the corporate ladder and uh, working hard. And then also I have two jobs, right? I do YouTube also. A lot of guys do YouTube the way I do YouTube where I'm releasing videos every day, uh, full time. I'm doing it part time on my free time. So I almost, it's almost like I'm working two jobs at the same time um, because my day literally starts from, you know, from eight to 5.36, I'm working my day job. Uh, during lunchtime, sometimes I'll record during lunch and then from 6 all the way till 1 in the morning I'm doing RC stuff recording on the weekends. I'm doing RC stuff and recording and it it sounds like you're probably asking man You're basically doing your job 24 7. I'm not though because I have because I enjoy I, I enjoy what I do for for my actual day job also like programming uh, people mention I enjoy that because I enjoy everything I do It's not like work. It's just like I'm living my life 24 7. It's not like I'm working 24 7 especially rc like this weekend i'm gonna get, be getting content this weekend i'll be uh, essentially working uh this weekend but it's what i would have been doing anyways even if i wasn't working so um that's the advantage of kind of setting up your your life with things that you're passionate about is if you do that it never seems like work so the answer is just hard work i work all the time and uh it's not really work because i enjoy everything i do so i hope that maybe suppresses some of the haters or <laughs> uh, answers some of your questions and try and basically answers the question on why I'm always buying RC cars. I, I enjoy it guys. I like doing it. Um, there are much worse hobbies I could be into. You don't question why people go drag racing, why people go real racing, why people go motocross racing. Any type of racing costs more, if, if not the same, more than what I'm doing with RC. And that's never getting questioned. So yeah, it's just a hobby. And I, I had worse hobbies before. I used to gamble a lot. I used to play a lot of poker. Uh, all that costs just as much as this hobby here. And uh, yeah, so at least this way I'm helping people and, uh, you know, interacting and meeting new people. 
<laughs> through the, the hobby. So, anyways, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.